for you to learn, and that may include a staff, a sword, a stick, a knife, maybe even some lightsabers. Your job is to learn the skill, practice it, and have fun doing it. This month we're learning something super simple, a one rev, horizontal flip, I like to call it Keanu's flip. I'm really excited to share all of these badass skills with you, so let's get started. Before we go anywhere, please make sure you hit that subscribe and little bell icon down below so that you don't miss out on any of these brand new skills that I'm bringing to you each and every month. Okay, so the skill we're doing this month is a horizontal one rep flip. I like to call it Keanu's flip after my friend Keanu Lamb, who I taught it to and he like fell in love with it and kept doing it. It has many other names. I've been doing it for a really long time and it never really had a name, which is why I just named it Keanu's flip. So you might know it as something else. That's cool, do your thing. Uh, basically, all it is is a single revolution open hand flip. So the first progression you're gonna start with is you're gonna hold a stick that is as long as your arm, maybe a hair longer. You don't want it to be super long because then it's gonna hit you in the head. Um, but you basically want it to be able to spin right in front of you without hitting you or you having to dodge it in any way. So you're gonna start at the end of the stick where I have my black tape. And a really good learning tool with this one is to put a different color piece of tape on either end of your stick so that you know exactly how much your stick is turned. So when I kick this top end up, I'm gonna catch the same end that I threw it from. Okay? So you're gonna start at the end of your stick. We're gonna practice the vertical progression first and then we'll move into the horizontal. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take that top end, you're going to kick it up at the same time as you're pulling down with the end that you're holding. So as the top end comes up, bottom end comes down, as that's happening, all you're gonna do is just open your hand and do a little wrist flick. So I'm just bringing my thumb up a little bit. That's all you have to do. There's nothing more to it. It's so simple. If you're getting too complicated, you're probably overthinking it. So take a step back, restart. Starting at the end, top end comes up, bottom end comes down. You're gonna turn it over, and then you're looking to catch it at the same end that you released it in, palm up. So as soon as I open my hand, all I'm gonna do is just put my hand out and wait, and it should come to you, okay? So it should be nice and whippy and fast. Gives a little good of little bit of a snap, which I like. It gives that like it's like a high five. It hurts so good. Once you can do that about 20 times comfortably vertically, then you can move to the horizontal flip. And the horizontal flip is going to work exactly the same way. You're doing one full revolution. Only this time we're in a horizontal plane. So that's our parallel plane, parallel to the floor. I mean, and what you're going to do is I'm going to start with my top end a little bit out from my hand, my palm is facing in to the middle right now. So my palm's not down, it's not up, it's facing in. So my hand is like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this bottom end out as I bring the top end around and I'm actually trying to keep the center of the stick exactly where it is right now. So I'm trying to rotate the circle of this flip around a fixed point in the center. It's not exactly gonna stay there, but you're gonna do your best. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the bottom end around. The bottom little puño here is just gonna come under my wrist, even though I'm keeping my palm flat. And as soon as I get to my max range, I'm gonna take my hand back and I'm gonna snap it out like that. So I'm gonna pull, snap it out. Then I'm gonna release. I'm gonna keep my hand where it is. It's gonna turn over once and then I'm gonna come in with my palm facing the inside of the circle and I'm just gonna slap it to catch. That's it, so your hand goes out, slap. It's not up, slap, 
which is what you're going to do the first couple times you do this. You're going out to the side and slapping back in. So you're going out, slap. And what I like to do is give the stick enough space to spin so I open everything and then it's just a timing thing of when I come back into the middle. So I'm going out, snap back. It is a little bit harder to do horizontally, but I really like this skill. It's just sort of like those one-off skills that I'm doing when I'm not really thinking about anything. It also can be really valuable in a combative sense, film fight sense, not real combat. Don't do this in real life. It can be really helpful. It's just a little flashy little something that's really easy to do. It's really quick and you can get in to almost anything you want from there. Okay, so one more time, just the basics. You're doing one full rep. So I'm releasing from the black end and I'm catching the black end. My palm stays in, I'm gonna snap my hand out and then I slap it back in. And that's pretty much it. The key to mastery with these staff spinning skills is repetition. So what I want you to do over the course of the month is try to your best to do 1,000 reps. Hey everyone, I just wanted to pause the video to tell you why I want you to do 1,000 reps. Now it's common knowledge that 10,000 or more reps is gonna create something close to mastery, maybe not quite. 1,000 reps is gonna be enough for you to download and comprehend the skill and then also give you something to practice and work for on the other end of it. It's easier than you think to do 1,000 reps. You just break it down into little micro steps and that will be enough to get it done throughout the month. And then you have the skill, you won't have to learn it again, but then you still have something to work on. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and follow me on all the social platforms so you don't miss out on any of the cool stuff that I'm posting. And I love hearing from you. So please make sure you leave me a comment and hit that like button down below. Also, I love seeing your progress, so please make sure that you're sharing it with me. Use these hashtags that I have up here, and I would love to see what you're creating. So that's it for this video. I'll see you next month. Bye. Of all these badass skills, so let's try it again. The key to mastery with these staff skin, staff skinning skills. Wow, this just got dark. <laughs> it got dark real fast. If you love these badass staff skin, skinning, Oh god, you're skinny. Oh, today. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to hit that subscribe <laughs> <laughs> button.